crafty friends welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing fantastic and if you're new to my channel hello hello i'm karina i love to paper craft as well as to organize my crafty supplies so if you are interested in watching these type of videos click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when i upload new videos thank you very much and today's video i am celebrating the national scrapbook month I'm going to show you a process of how I put together a 12 by 12 page layout. I hope you enjoy this video or you can get inspired on how to put together a 12 by 12 page layout and I hope you enjoy and have a wonderful Mother's Day. I'm going to send you a kiss and let's get to the scrapbook layout. Okay, I am here celebrating the National Scrapbook Month. So in this month, I am going to be doing a few videos about scrapbooking. And this is the first one. And it's a 12 by 12 page layout. So I decided to use my Maggie Holmes Flourish project pad. And I already selected this picture which I matted it with the papers this one and this one is from um, the 6x6 six six, um, gather so this is a picture of myself and my sister we went two years ago on a trip we saw these gorgeous waterfalls in a city called Ambato in Ecuador so let's start so i picked these gorgeous kind of like cool pink so i'm thinking i'm going to put this picture that it's already matted over here and what i do first is i laid out how it, i am going to place everything so i'm in love with this tool from Hobby Lobby so I'm using this as to add some kind of a uh, more texture into my scrapbook layout as you can see I already have one two three textures that's it I don't want to put more pattern because then it will not look kind of like cohesive so I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see what I am trying to accomplish here so this is one of the um, embellishments that I put together probably a couple of weeks ago. I have a whole <laughs> stack of them. And I did a shaker. And yes, uh, Base Day Ever, which goes really good with this layout. This is one of the cut parts from the Flourish Maggie Holmes project pad. So I love it. It's where I can do my journaling. I'm thinking I'm just to balance things out. I am going to put these over here. Then I have this frame. It's in for from a, one of the Maggie Holmes collections. I can't remember which one, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to frame this. I love this memory. I'm going to place it kind of like wonky like that because I want to just to create some interest and not to look the layout too boring. It's, um, I don't want to say this layout is monochromatic, but you know, um, my main colors are black, um, kind of beigey and uh, pink. And my accent color is gold, of course, as you can see. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to put this over here. Let's see how it looks like. I'm trying to create a sort of like a collage, but. And I put together this other one using the um, some of my dies. I use this die, uh, C6 from um, Stephanie Bernard, the hearts that has all these punch holes. And this is one piece of the ephemera from Flourish. I'm thinking I probably want to put it over here like that. Then I have this other piece of ephemera from Flourish. I want to probably put it like that so I can I create some 
kind of like a rhythm or pattern going around. So my focal point, yes, it's the picture. So I am going to probably put it around here. Here we go, I have this other leaf here from Flourish. I'm gonna put the leaf there. So, and this is how it looks like. And I think this picture needs more, more of the pattern. No, probably like this, so I can balance things, balance things more out here. Yeah. So here is my journaling, and then I probably might put some stripes here. Not sure, but no. I'm just gonna leave things like that, so it, it's quite interesting. That and. These are some of the pieces that I got from the, one of the papers from uh, Flourish Maggie Holmes. And let's see what I can do. I think this one doesn't look that great, but I need some kind of like a, something to anchor this whole frame. So now after I have laid out everything, of course I'm gonna glue it and before I glue it, I am going to add some sprays and shimmering things because I like to do that. So I am going to be using these um, Tater Angels Glimmer Mist and it's Midnight Blue. And I'm also going to be using the Distress um, Tin Holes brush where um, you are going to see the effect of it. So I'm just going to open this up and yes, it's blue because I want to also pick up the colors from the my sister's sweater and the jeans that we were wearing that day. We had such a great time and here we go. I'm just going to insert this and here comes the best part. So I'm going to do that. You see how everything looks nice. And I can just do that, do that. Of course, I don't want the so that's the effect that I wanted to create. Kind of like inky, messy. And of course I'm messing my hands right now. <laughs> but um yeah, so that's how it's this layout is going to look like. And I have here some of my Willow Lane stickies. Once you are the best, yeah, because she is, she is my bestie, my sister, and what else? The heart around here. Let's see. Hmm. Put this heart around here so it picks a lot. Okay, so I am gonna come back and glue everything and journal so you can see the final project. Okay, here, so I am back, and what I did extra was I stitched with um, golden thread these parts, just to like, uh, kind of like balance out. I am going to come closer here. Um, I have to write my journaling, and let's see if I can write something. And so this is the scrapbook layout that I put together. Um, let's do this so we can add some blue here. And yeah, blue. So it picks up the blues of, of um, the jeans and my sister's sweater. So this is it. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, please let me know if you would like to see um, more videos. As I mentioned, I am celebrating the National Scrapbook Month and um, when I start paper crafting, I start scrapbooking and I still do that. I do like 12 by 12 page layouts, mini albums, 
also now you know travel notebooks etc so as you can see I use a couple of um, three patterns and use lots of texture um, my shaker and so this is it and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share this video with any of your friends and family and if you haven't done so and would like to watch these type of videos just click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when i upload new videos thank you very much my crafty friends and see you on my next video bye